Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to build Oracle Berkeley DB components for the Java sample application. You can download both Oracle Berkeley DB and the Java sample program from Berkeley DB's OTM website. The sample program requires JDK 7, and at the time this video is recorded, Berkeley DB does not support JDK 8, so make sure you have JDK 7 installed on your system. The sample program uses Berkeley DB's Java and JDBC APIs, so we need to build the core, SQL, Java, and JDBC interfaces for Berkeley DB. The process to build these libraries is different from system to system. You can find detailed instructions on how to build them in the documentations shipped with every release package. For example, this is the Berkeley DB release package 6.1.19. In the docs directory, you can find the home page of the documentation index.html. Open the home page and scroll down to find the build, installation, and upgrade guide section. In the section, you can find links to each platform Berkeley DB supports. Take the Unix platform as example. There you can find the link to the process of building the JDBC driver. Please refer to the documentation for your platform on how to build the necessary interfaces. Here, we are going to show you how to build the interfaces on a Unix platform. This is the root directory of Berkeley DB release 6.1.19. We use the build and score Unix directory to run our build. I've prepared a simple build script to make the build process easier. In this build script, we first set Java Home to point to the JDK7 home directory, and then we include JDK7 binaries in the system path. To build the necessary components, we use a configure script delivered in the release package to generate the make file. To build the necessary components, we need to set Enable Java and Enable JDBC options. To make sure the compiler can find correct JDK header files, we also set the CPP flags to include the JDK header file directories. After the configure is done, we run Make Install to build the components and install them in the directory specified with the prefix option. Now everything has been built successfully. Let's take a look at the installed directory. In the lib directory, we can find the core, SQL, and the Java libraries. The native libraries for the Java and the JDBC APIs are also installed in the lib directory. The JDBC API itself is installed in the jar directory. After building the libraries, you may choose to copy them to the sample programs directory. The two jar files are copied under the libs directory, and the four native libraries are copied to the root directory of the sample program. It is not required to copy them, but it may simplify the configuration steps after you import the sample program into your IDE. The next step is to use one of the project files included in the sample program to import and run it in IDE. We have created separate tutorials for the IntelliJ, Eclipse, and JDeveloper IDEs. Please visit our OTM website for more details.